Welcome back to Henry's Garage. In this episode, we um, decided to take a look at the valve clearances to see if that's causing some of the fouling. And um, realised where they're not quite right anyway. Um, so, a couple of questions at the end about the sizes of my um, shims because they seem to be rather big. If anyone can explain to me why my existing ones are so big, that'd be interesting. And um, enjoy the episode. Okay. You meant to be able to do the clearances for the valves here. First of all, I was calling this the rocker. Obviously, it's not the can. Um, so, apologies for that, previous videos. Now, you're meant to be able to do the clearances here with this, the um, head off the um, block. Um, uh, so I'm going to pull it off and try to turn it and measure the clearances because hopefully that would tell me that it's not this that's the issue, it's that I've got something else in the timing wrong. So we'll take off these five bolts, pull those out, we'll take a couple of the um, studs out and we'll see if we can um, do the timing. Not the timing, just, just do those clearances. Right, just here there's um, uh, to put a spanner on and from here I can turn this and we can see our valves going in and out. So I clearly, at some point, had this, had my um, valves hitting the pistons. Um, and that was the problem I was having. Okay. So, now that we know that, we know that it's that I didn't actually have the timing right. So that's a good thing to know. Um, I haven't talked these yet and I need to talk them to do this test properly but before doing that I'm now going to turn this around like this and so this is one, two, three, four. Um, we're going to get it at, I need to check where I need to get it but we're going to get it at whatever it needs to be. We're going to do a feel of where they're at now and then we might have a look at talking it. Okay, so correct valve clearances for the inlet 
0.2 mil for the exhaust 0.457 so 0.46 all right my measurements uh, let's get this in oh. these were my measurements so we've got have I got that in there we go so we've got inlet exhaust exhaust inlet inlet exhaust exhaust inlet all right so it should be 0 0.2 0 0.46 0 0.2 point uh, sorry 0 0.46 0 0.2 Point two, point four six, point four six, and point two. So I need to make some adjustments. I clearly have not put them back in in the same places. So um, I'll have a look at what I think I need to increase and decrease, and we'll try again. From the point of view of my back, I decided it's going to be easier to do on here. So I've got all of the pistons down, out the way. I'm going to stick the head back on. I've moved, I've moved um, the the shims around. I'm going to stick it back on here, and we'll work through it again. Okay, the torque is meant to be 19 newton meters on these. I've done it down to 13. I'm just going to do the rest of the wing now. And feeling that it's possible, I've been even with the ratchet, I've been actually doing a bit too tight. Okay, so we'll now measure them again and go from there. Okay, we're going to measure all the gaps on here. This isn't talked down. Uh, this is talked down now, so it's. It's all talked and I can turn it here easily enough to go through. So it's not, the cam is not connected to the timing. All right, it's just turns. And of course the um, pistons are way down so it's not interfering with those. Okay, um, I have checked again that the pistons are facing the right way and they are. So... I'm not worried about that. So I'm not going to do the timing, check the sizes online. I'm going to do it off and then adjust, um, move them about, move my shims about, and then come back to have a look at how we're doing. Right, it's the next day and I've realised um, that I've got my inlet and exhaust the wrong way round. Um, so I did a bunch of stuff. My shims my shims are now all over the place because of that. So um, we are where we are. Um, so let's just go back. So this is what I did have. Now um, I found on the... So I, I had a gap, gap suggested of 457 I think. Um, when I went on to the TR7 manual, which I've got here, it shows it as 0.5mm for the exhaust, so I'm going to use that instead. Um, all right, and work on that basis, so with that in mind, I've moved here, and we can see what I've got. And this is where I've currently got them set up. Um, uh, and so I can get these a little bit closer than I currently have. Um, so, for example, I could move this shim from 7 
26, which would bring, given I've got a requirement of 4.44, it would bring it down to 0 0.01. Um, and I could this I could move um, this one 4.36 on here we should bring that down to again 0 0.01 um, so we should then leave me needing to get three um, new shims because I think those are too far out I figured anything within 0 0.05 um, would be close enough, but these are too far out. So, um, so I need to get some shims. Now, so I had a look on a couple of sites, and so we've got James Paddock, and um, the shims start in Thals, they're in Thals, and um, for the stag, they start at 0 0.05. Um, well, they start at seven thou. Um, for the TR7, they actually start at ninety or ninety-one, and they go up to one hundred and twenty-nine. So, one hundred twenty-nine thou in mil, in millimeters, is three point three two seven, three point two eight, uh, which is somewhat short of where I need to be at four. So, if anyone can tell me why my um, my shims are so much bigger than the standard on this car, I would like to know because that would be interesting. Um, so, um, I can't get anything from James Paddock in the right size. Oh, I haven't. Um, yeah, no, I can't. So, I had a look elsewhere and on Rimmerbrus they actually say here that you can get oversized shims um, at grid zero zero blah 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 and that link takes you through to the Rover SD1 engine and the Rover SD1 engine goes up to um, 4.55 mil um, although that one isn't available so 4.5 Five two five. So I'm going to have to be ordering those there, I guess. Um, but I'm not quite sure why my shims are so big. Um, but there we are. <laughs>